Good morning, Chuck here. I hope everybody's having a great day today. On this video, I'm gonna take you guys fishing. I am headed to Matagorda. Right now I'm headed to a place called Fayette. Last night we spent the night here in Richmond, Texas. And yeah, Paige is gonna stay there for a few days while I, uh, I go fishing. So the plan is to fish for the next three days and catch a gigantic ice chest full of fish. I've got a big ice chest back here in the back and I told them I wouldn't come back until it's full. So anyway, you guys uh, always want to see some fishing videos. Well, I'm going to take you guys out here and show you what it takes to catch some possibly giant redfish and some nice, beautiful speckled trout out in the Gulf of Mexico. Actually, we're not going all the way out in the Gulf. We're going to stay in the intercoastal area where it's not so rough. And I think that's where the fish are. We've had a cold front come in. Actually, this morning it's about 65 degrees. Beautiful weather. It's supposed to hold up for the next three days. <sighs> Refreshing. Let's go to my buddy Rick's house. Some sky now. Well, here we are at my good friend Rick's house. That's my old travel trailer. It looks like it's been sitting a while, Rick. We've only used it three times. <laughs> I can't get my wife to go. Uh, anyway, look at this spider, man. My wife would freak out on that spider right there. They call that a banana spider. Anyway, me and Rick have been really good friends for a long time. And Frick, Rick is a hell of a fisherman, almost as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got a long drive to get to our destination. 
And uh, yeah, we'll see you when we get to uh, we get to Sargent's. It's gonna be a great trip. Cotton, a lot of cotton fields out here. Black soil. I don't know what it is with black soil and cotton, but cotton loves that black soil, don't it? Yeah, it loves it, and it's uh, it doesn't need a lot of water. Oh, I see. Once it gets up, it, it really prefers no water. Do they grow anything else out here? They grow corn, right? They corn and milo, oh. and then they raise grass. Oh yeah, yeah. They got we have what's called Saint Augustine grass out here, and uh, they grow it and they sell it. They grow it and they they roll it up and they sell it. Now this right here is hay. They use that for, you know, the round bells and they just feed horses and cows with this. Mainly in the in the winter time when, you know, the grass is dead. But that's a beautiful, well fertilized bahia grass right there, you can tell for sure. Okay, that's that's the grass right there that they're growing to sell. St. Augustine grass. So if you're going to have a big house, that's the way to do it with all that land right there instead of uh, next to, you know, 300 houses just like it. Of course, if that's what you like. Caney Creek RV Park. Well, we have arrived here close to Sargent's. We're actually staying in this trailer park. It's pretty cool, actually. I kind of missed the trailer deal, but the lady said that we could just park the, the boat on this pad since there's nobody here. And we're staying in one of these cool looking little cabins. And how much was it at night, Rick? $75 a night. It's actually pretty big. Anyway, let's get our stuff and go check it out. All right, got a nice little patio. It's a one bedroom. Whoop, kind of dark now. And it's just a trailer house. Nice bathroom. And that's where I'm sleeping. This is actually a bed inside there. We'll open it up. It does have an oven. I was gonna buy a roasted chicken. Well, I didn't know they had an oven, but yeah, they got an oven. So we just figured, I, I think we'll just have some fresh fish for dinner. Very cool. And got plates. Got plates, got salt and pepper already. Uh, what else? Coffee pot. Yeah. And we got a refrigerator full of food too. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> gonna try to get some I don't think anybody has any bait this uh, it's pretty windy they had a cold front come in here and a hurricane uh, about not a hurricane but a tropical storm come through here a few days ago so everything's a little mixed up so let's see if they have any bait or they're gonna get some bait it's got pretty good information on what's going on. well nobody's here so no bait come back tomorrow maybe there'll be somebody here we're just gonna throw plastic bait that always works right
Well, it's very windy out here. Very windy. We're just gonna be throwing some gulp and we just have a drift sock. We're just gonna drift, drift, drift away. The, the water is pretty muddy. So best thing to throw is something dark because fish only see shadow. So when you got clear water, you want to throw a light colored bait. And when it's muddy, you want to throw something dark. Okay, let me show you what I'm throwing today. This is basically called a, what do you call it? It's a popping, popping cork pop rig. And it's just that when you pop this thing in the water, it makes a little rattling sound with the weights and it attracts fish it makes them you know like a frenzy like they think that uh there's a lot of activity so i only have a small little three quarter inch weight on this with a a leader and i was catching a lot of fish with this artificial shrimp uh, a few weeks ago but the water was clear so i'm going to try something a little darker today and uh and see if we can't get hooked up with something yes on that other shoreline chuck yeah that high cedar trees in this open area do you see any birds working over there uh which way uh -huh. which way right on the shoreline over there straight oh, okay see the big clump of green trees yeah and you got a ball spot and then two or three singles well no luck but uh the water's really muddy right now so you pretty much got to throw it right on top of their head with artificial bait. So we're going to move to another spot. We've got about another hour of daylight. We're just kind of out here screwing around. If this wind would lie down, it would be okay. The water would clear up pretty fast. Tie my leader on it. He's got a. <laughs> it's a trout. Sand trout. Well, I had you setting it, setting the hook on camera, at least. Well, that's a good uh, finish right there, huh? Yeah. Have that in a cooler. Perfect. <laughs> well, what a way to end the day. We're gonna have to get back in. And uh, yeah, we got plenty of time. All we have is time. Right. Until we get bored. Cheers. Well, there's my bed. I've slept in a lot worse, but it's okay. 
It's a, it's a, like a fish camp. Anyway, tomorrow we're gonna catch a bunch of fish, right? Rick bought us some great lasagna. I was gonna show it to you, but I ate it already because I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna sit here and just chill, go to sleep, wake up sometime tomorrow, maybe find some shrimp. Yep. Have some coffee, some donuts, and get, get back on the water. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming with us. I hope you come tomorrow to see uh, the ice box full of fish. No, we're not gonna catch nothing, right? <laughs> we want zero. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.